Hello. Welcome to Renewal Financial Services Banking 101. I am Angela Keyes, Chief Operations Officer for Renewal Financial Services, and I will be your lecturer for this discussion. There was a time when stuffing extra money in a piggy bank or under the mattress was a viable option. However, this is no longer an appropriate alternative because banks today offer many services that go beyond savings. Banking services today include cashing checks, paying bills, depositing extra money in a safe place. In essence, this process, typically referred to as managing your money, is extremely important. You must find a system that will help you manage your money. In this session, we will discuss the basics of banking services. In addition to the services listed above, banks are more aggressively offering convenient access to your money. They also offer prepaid cards, mortgages, home equity lines, educational and automobile loan services, investment services, and life, home, auto, and health insurance. Here at Renewal, we've created a list of the top 10 things you need to know about banking. Number one, money in a bank is safe. A bank is one of the safest places to stash your cash. Your account is insured against loss by the federal government of up for up to $100,000 per deposit. Number two, you will have to pay for the convenience of banking. Banks pay lower interest rates on interest-bearing accounts than brokerages and mutual fund companies that offer check-writing privileges. In addition, bank fees can be high and account costs can easily add up to $200 a year or more unless you maintain a minimum required balance on deposit. Number three, inflation. Inflation eats away at your bank earnings. Even at a low rate of inflation, the annual creep in the cost of goods and services usually outpaces what banks pay in interest-bearing accounts. Number four, banks calculate interest differently. Banks frequently use different methods to calculate interest. To compare how much money you will earn from various accounts within a time period of a year, you should ask for each account's annual percentage yield. Banks typically quote both interest rates and APYs, but only the APY is calculated the same everywhere. Number five, better rates. Certificates of deposit, also known as CDs, offer some of the best guaranteed rates on your money. They are insured to up to $100,000 each. The only catch is that you'll have to lock up your money for a period of anywhere from three months to five years or even more. If the interest rates fall before the CD expires, the bank is out of luck and must give you the rate it quoted. If rates climb, you're stuck with the lower interest rate. Also, with riser, rising interest rates, money market accounts can become an attractive option as well. They pay more than banking accounts, and you do not have to freeze your money or lock it up for a specified amount of time. Number six, you have to watch ATM fees. The convenience of using automated teller machines is an increasingly pricey one. On average, the fee your bank charges you to use another institution's ATM is $1.37. This information is according to bankrate.com. That's on top of the average $1.75 that the other institution will charge you to use its ATM. These are all fees that you have to incur to access your money. Negotiating a better rate. Getting the best deal takes work. As in as with any negotiation, you won't get the best deal if you walk in and have not done your research. The same is true for banking. You must comparison shop and ask for price breaks. For example, a bank might offer free checking if you are a shareholder or if you direct deposit your paycheck. So don't be afraid to find out if there are 
any benefits that you can incur with starting a bank account. Number eight, use the web to shop for bank services. You can use the internet to compare fees, yields, and minimum deposit requirements nationwide. Sites again like Bankrate.com allow you to search and compare the highest yields and the lowest costs on banking, savings, loans, and deposit rates nationwide. You can also search by geographic locations or use CNNMoney.com. Number 9. Online banking makes bill payment much easier. Electronic bill paying can save you the monthly hassle of paying your bills. And if you combine online banking with the personal finance management program, such as Quicken or Microsoft Money, you'll be able to link, link your banking with your budgeting and financial planning as well. But a word of warning, some vendors only warn the customer, the consumer, of price hikes in the fine print of a bill. So make sure you, again, do your research and are aware of all of the little caveats. And the final in our top 10 things to know about banking, it is possible to bank without a bank. A number of financial institutions offer accounts that resemble bank services. The most common, credit union accounts, mutual fund company money market funds, and brokerage cash management accounts. Again, it's important to do your homework. Understanding banking services. In doing your banking comparisons to find the right banking services for you, there are certain things you need to look at. First, look at the ease and convenience of using the bank's services. You also need to look at money management. Does this bank or do the services that this bank provides help you to manage your money better? How expensive is it to use this bank? Are there certain fees and charges that I will incur as a result of my utilizing the bank's services? And the last thing is safety. What happens if I lose my wallet or my purse or my checkbook or my ATM card? Are there safeguards in place that will help me to minimize my damages? Once you as a consumer are ready to do comparison shopping regarding banking services, there are four particular things you need to look at. First, ease and convenience. The first question you need to ask yourself is, how do you use your money? Is there inconvenient access to budget? Is there convenient access to budget? Your goal will determine the choice you make. The important thing is to understand the use and know your cost. The second thing is money management. Money management helps you keep track of deposits and spending. It's also used as a budgeting tool and you have online access. Third, fees and charges. How often will you use this account? How much do you want to pay? Why do you pay monthly account maintenance fees? And why do you pay transaction fees? And you may have to look at any other bank service transaction fees as well. Finally, safety. As we stated earlier, Putting money in a bank or credit union is the safest. Your deposits are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or the FDIC. Other bank services may not be safe. Now let's do a comparison on various banking products to compare the four topics that we've just spoken about. Let's do a little banking comparisons. We'll do a brief comparison of checking accounts versus prepaid cards 
versus check cashing and money orders based on the five principles that we already stated ease and convenience for the ease and convenience in using a checking account you have to remember that some merchants do not accept checks and if you do use them you have to make sure that you have proper identification at the point of sale as a money management tool checking accounts are useful because they help you track your spending and stick to your budget also balancing your checkbook each month can help you maintain your budget the fees and charges for using a checkbook book a checking account excuse me may range from zero to ten dollars per month per month however bounce check fees can be as high as thirty five dollars per check it's relatively easy or it's relatively safe to use a checking account because your deposits are insured for up to one hundred thousand dollars and you do have protection if your checkbook or ATM card is stolen some high balance checking accounts and all savings accounts do earn interest so you will be able to make money off of your money when we look at prepaid cards the ease and convenience features depends on the type of card signature cards those that carry the MasterCard or Visa logo are accepted at most retail stores as far as money management is concerned some prepaid cards do provide access to account account statements fees for using prepaid cards typically range from three dollars to ten dollars and they may or may not have overdraft fees also once that prepaid card has been used the the amount of that card has been used it may be reloadable but you may have to charge you may be charged a fee to reload it some prepaid cards also have bank account protection and some prepaid cards have saving options that earn interest however a note for prepaid cards it's important that you read the pro fine print because not all prepaid cards are created equal and many of them will provide no further benefits after the initial deposit has been used up so make sure that you read the fine print and know the regulations associated with using that card check cashing and money orders are available there we know that there are many um, organizations that offer check cashing and money order services however it is very hard if not impossible to track your spending expenses and use check cashing and money orders as a budgeting tool many merchants charge check cashing fees of at least two percent of the face value of the check so you've already lost a certain amount of money before you ever gain access to the money that's there money orders cost anywhere from one dollar to five dollar and the fees continue to add up as the cost of the check or the money order increase they offer little or no protection if lost or stolen and you will you have no benefit of any type of interest when using check cashing or money orders congratulations you have just completed renewals banking 101 online course if you are ready to be tested on your banking knowledge click the link below to be routed to the examination if you wish to take the test at a later time please log in later using your secure user identification name and password and don't forget renewal has partnered with the FDIC money smart program to provide an interactive banking program you can access that program via our website in the banking section. Again, congratulations. I'm Angela Keys for Renewal Financial Services.